the population. They are actively going to have to kill off a vast majority of the people in the world today. And the average individual says, well, that could never happen. And I will tell you, it not only could happen, it is happening. And we can get into the background of the electromagnetic field. We can get into the background of what they're doing as far as our food is concerned. We can get into the background of what they're doing as far as the use of medications are concerned. And basically, we are moving towards a major third world war where I honestly believe that hundreds of millions of people are going to die. The outlook is very, very grim. And yet the average American just wants to be left alone. Unfortunately, they're not going to leave the average American alone. And people are going to have to get involved and start talking and start preparing at least for themselves and their friends for the very, very difficult times that are coming. And they're coming very, very soon. We're not talking about 20 years from now. I think we're talking about a certain amount of months or a, a few years at the least. Yes, they certainly are accelerating it. I think that's really what's going on with this, with this collapse at the border. And people need to understand that if we go back and we look at Rex 84, we look at Operation Garden Plot, the conditions that they had laid down for martial law are exactly the kinds of conditions that they themselves, the government, are creating right now at the border. I think that's a very frightening prospect, as well as the idea that they could do a false flag pandemic, uh, not even really a false flag, they could, they could essentially uh, bring that in. We see that uh, diseases are coming across the border. We see that border patrol agents are testing positive for many of the diseases that the uh, illegal aliens are bringing across. And as we talked to border patrol agents, they were telling us they had contacted the Center for Disease Control and the Center for Disease Control was not interested at all. Does that surprise you, Dr. Monteith? No, it's not least. Yes. <laughs> that is the disease control is part and parcel of the problem. Yes. I fought that for almost a decade with the AIDS epidemic because they did everything they could to block the use of standard and effective public health measures to stop the epidemic. But it's so far now it's killed well over 600,000 people in America, infected another million and a half, and killed millions throughout the world. But it was all unnecessary. In fact, I wrote a book called AIDS, the Unnecessary Epidemic. It was an unnecessary epidemic then. It is an unnecessary epidemic today. And But we can thank uh, the doctors who compromised their principles in the Centers for Disease Control uh, for the uh, loss of almost six, of over 600,000 lives in America. And they turned a blind eye to it for political reasons in the same way that they're turning a blind eye to the to that additional risk when they open up the borders for political reasons. Well, I think it's so, so tragic, but the thing is that this, this is a subversive act. Yes. And nobody wants to say that, that we have a subversive element that controls our government. I mean, this is not happening by accident. These people are not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. But the thing is that nobody has the courage to stand up and say, this is criminal activity. It's criminal activity uh, to bring these people into this country. It's criminal activity uh, to lock the border patrol people from doing what's logical. And basically, oh, so much of it, well, criminal activity, do you realize we have over 11 million people on disability today? Federal disability, there is no place in our Constitution where the federal government is defined to provide for people who have a disability. And this is all designed intensely to bankrupt our nation. And believe me, we are going to be going bankrupt very, very soon. And with that, the average person listening to this program, if they have money invested in stocks or in bonds or in annuities or in pensions or anything else tied to the dollar, they're going to lose the significant part of, of everything they work their life for. And the average individual has no idea what's going to happen. And when it does happen, I really fear there's going to be distress, there's going to be violence, there's going to be rioting in our streets. Yeah, you know, they, they talk constantly about how fragile our infrastructure is, uh, susceptible to electromagnetic pulses, uh, to terrorist attacks, 
to any kind of disruption because we have a just-in-time delivery service. And yet people don't realize, most of them, just how fragile our economic system is because it really kind of hangs on the petrodollar. That's one of the reasons why we've been able to run up this astronomical deficit of $17 trillion. No one can even fathom how large that is. And one way they've been able to do it is to uh, have this petrodollar and yet Look at what the government right now is doing. They're trying to, uh, they're, they're engaging the Russians, they're engaging the Chinese, they're, they're, they're trying to pick a fight, start a, another Cold War, and everything that they're doing is causing them to consider backing away from the petrodollar. And once they do that, you're going to see very rapid economic collapse, just as you will with a massive influx of dependents coming through the border. We're going to be right back with Dr. Stanley Monteith. We're going to continue to talk about what's going on from the 50,000-foot level. What is this all about? Well, of course, it's about consolidating the governments into regional areas, destroying local sovereignty so that they can then consolidate that into a global government. It's about creating economic collapse and continuous war. We're going to be right back with Dr. Stanley Monteith. Stay with us. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. We, the people, grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. This is an alert. If your business or church is building this year, you're about to pay more than you should. This could mean thousands of dollars more for your office, retail space, church, or warehouse. A general steel building can save you as much as half the cost and time of similar conventional construction. And we're offering rebates of up to $20,000 to help you build today. Call General Steel for free information that could save you thousands. Call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillard.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have Dr. Stanley Monteith of RadioLiberty.com on the phone with us. Now, we've been informed that Obama has a speech on immigration that's pending very shortly. Uh, I'm sure he's going to solve everything with some new executive orders. So we're just hanging on what our dear leader is going to tell us. But uh, 
We won't be able to cover that here. You can get an update on that tonight on the nightly news. You can see that at prisonplanet.tv. Support us with a subscription there. Just one subscription lets you share that with up to 10 other people. Get a constant update each night on what's happening, the latest developments, and helps you to wake other people up. You have access to all of Alex Jones's documentaries right there on Prison Planet TV with your subscription, and you can pass that along to other people. And, of course, the nightly news will be tonight at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, Dr. Monteith, we were talking about a lot of bad news. You were laying out uh, to everybody what's been going on for a very long time, trying to move towards global government Let's talk about something positive. You know, we're all Christians. We know that God rules. We've read the back of the book. We know who wins in the long term. What can we do in the short term to protect our families, to protect our country? Well, I think the personal thing, first and most important thing, is to have a personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, because we certainly, this, so, if, once you understand this is a spiritual battle, and what is energizing this whole movement is a long range spiritual plan that is coming to fulfillment today. So, first of all, you have a personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, you would want to go ahead and make all the preparations that you can. Try to get other people to understand the spiritual explanation of what's going on. Basically, thousands of years ago, it was prophesied that the well, the geopolitical structure would be lining up just as it is today. Talk of Gog, Magog, I mean, once you begin to understand what these countries are, you begin to see them all fitting into place today. And we know there's going to be, uh, first of all, a, a war coming before the Ezekiel 38 and 39 war. There's going to be a war that will precede that one, and I think that's what we're seeing unfolding today. And what a pretty gratifying thing it is to know that God's predictions are coming to pass. Either the Bible is accurate and prophecy is accurate, or it's not. There's no halfway in between. And the longer I live, the more I watch what's going on, the more convinced I am that God does rule in the affairs of men. That we are actually seeing the fulfillment of those eight old prophecies. Sometimes it's a little hard to, to actually hit this country and that country, but as the events unfold, I think you're going to see that God knew exactly what was going to happen pretty thousands of years ago. Can we delay this? Perhaps uh, our job is to do our best. Uh, our job is to reach as many people as we can in the time that's allotted to us, and I just hope and pray that what I do and the, what the what people who listen to this program do will honor God and bring them closer. It's the only hope we have for ourselves and our families is the realization that God does rule in the yes. affairs of men. I agree. And I think that if we look at uh, biblical prophecies and our takeaway is that we want to uh, sit back passively and wait for it to happen, or we get excited about the fact that, oh, look, things are lining up and uh, I'm going to get raptured out of here. You know, a lot of people said that when Hitler came to power and kind of passively sat back. I'm reminded of what Martin Luther said. He said, if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, I would still plant a tree today. Thank you very much, Dr. Stanley Monteith. That's it for the Alex Jones Show today. Join us for the nightly news tonight at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2. 
Available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.